So good morning from a very chilly summit of the Malvern Hills. This morning is the coldest it's been for a long time. The forecast was 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 some mist and fog and, and freezing temperatures, so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to get at the top and test out the EOS R with my oldest lens, which is a 70 to 200. I'm a huge fan of this camera, as you know, um, and what I wanted to sort of show in this video was just how how good it is with older lenses that you might have. Now I can't speak for the EF EFS lenses because I know some of them are problematic with the new camera, but certainly the EF mount lenses work an absolute dream. But just looking, just looking at, at over over to the the plain of the River Severn now, the conditions really are quite stunning, and I'm really pleased that I've brought. Let me just stop you down a bit. And I'm really pleased that I've brought the 70 to 200. So I've been out this morning, I've already shot some landscapes, now it's time to get some far, far reaching stuff and see if I can maybe throw a few people in there as well. So this is what it can do. <laughs> Look at that, it's an absolutely wonderful morning and there's just so much potential to shoot and I've just ended up getting chatting to loads of people because this sort of weather brings out the best in everybody and everybody wants to say hello and chat and wonder what you're photographing. So one thing I wanted to say just before I do end up going down the hill is I I love with the 70 to, 70 to 200, I'll try that again, the 70 to 200 is the ability to pick out detail and I know that's you know the oldest trick in the book for landscape photographers but you really can and with the mist like we've got down here and the seven plain little treetops and uh, chimney stacks or you know anything that the church in Malvern anything that's just poking out of the mist the 70 to 200 will really help you do that so I tell you what why don't you leave me a comment if you've got a 70 to 200 which one have you got have you got the Sigma that I've got or have you got maybe a, a, a newer version? This version here, like I said, was one of the oldest lenses I've got. And in fact, I bought it in 2013 when I looked like this. And in fact, the lens is 
Oh, how old is it? It's from this year when this was happening. Lampard! Brilliant! It was in now! That surely crossed the line! Hello, our airports are at a standstill tonight as volcanic ash from Iceland drifts across the region, making air travel too dangerous. Provide all the detail you could possibly want. I've just seen Thomas Schaffernacker <laughs> preparing uh, for it, so I'm not in touch. Ah! Oh. Every now and then there's always one mistake. That was it. Now. So that's just about how old the lens is. Now I am interested in other 70 to 200 lenses because I do need to bring my lens and my glass up to date with my new camera. But the old gear still works, and sometimes if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So. A good mentality to have today. It's certainly helped me get my shots. I'm just heading back down to the car after a quite a successful morning of photography, I think. Uh, you never quite know until you get back to the computer and have a look. Um, but final thoughts, EOSR on landscapes, do you need those extra megapixels? No, don't think you probably do, but they're nice to have. Um, that's not why I bought this camera anyway. Uh, I bought it for other mediums of photography than landscape, but to have it f for a landscape is just a bonus. It really is a great camera to use. Video side of things are great, but I'll go into that in another video. And if I've inspired you to get up out of bed and photograph a winter sunrise, then, then let me know. Why don't you find me on, on Instagram at, what's my handle? Mr. Underscore Andrew Maguire. And if I've inspired you to get up and photograph a sunrise, come and say hello. Uh, as always, leave me a comment, I'll hit the like button, that really, really helps me out, and subscribe if you're new around here, and I will see you on the next video. Until then, see you soon.